Yo, what's going on guys? Shake your bag back and yes today we're back up on NBA Live Ultimate Team Good stuff today. It's Thursday which means throwback Thursday and you get legends and legend packs and the legend uh, limited legend challenge so you can get a uh, limited version of those guys uh, These Atlantic Feast, I thought these were supposed to expire but apparently they expired tomorrow it looks like I think we might be getting some good content tomorrow because the master challenges I think have dropped on the 30th and then the 1st. So I think we're going to get master challenges maybe because we haven't gotten them about a month. So maybe tomorrow we got some new masters coming out. That would be dope. But you guys get to see Cleveland Cavaliers are the legends for today. These are pretty dope. Last week was the heat one. And again, it was on Thanksgiving. So I actually didn't put a video on that. I I'm going to put out that pack opening eventually. Probably on this weekend. But you guys can see right here. Pretty good legends. Shaq. We already have a 92 Shaq. I already have him on my team too. So that one... Not too crazy for me. Larry Nance is a 90 overall, where I'll be free. He's already got a card as well. And then Mark Price, who is a 93 overall, definitely the best of the batch. And Sean Kemp. And Sean Kemp's actually got some pretty good stats for the Cavaliers version, which makes me think, man, if we get a Sonics version later in the year, which we probably will, he's going to be crazy. But uh, yeah, you guys can get a short-term version of them by doing the challenge, which is nice. It's free, nice and easy. Or you can come over to the store and pick them up for $7 a pop, 700 points. And uh, that's not bad, man. That's, that's pretty cheap. And again, this is a guaranteed legend. One of those, what, five or six? I don't know. I think it was five. But pretty good stuff. And uh, we'll check out the, them on the market real quickly before we do open our packs. But we definitely want Mark Price. I mean, I, I think I'd probably quick, I, I, not quick sell him, but sell him on the auction house. Here we see the Shaq. He's got, again, pretty similar stats to the other Shaq. But the speed is way down. It's like a 78 on the other card, and that's a big difference, 78 to 68. But it's definitely good for you budget guys out there who don't have as many coins and don't have the other Shaq. This is a really good pickup and a really good cop, I would say. You, you need to grab this card. So there is that card and the 88, pretty solid. The Sean Kemp I was talking about, this one is up for like what? 30k Look at the speed! 88 speed for a power 4, that's crazy because he was really not that fast back in the Cavs days so we're looking at maybe 90 plus speed for his, his Sonics version. That's gonna be crazy, man. Uh, now I'm wishing that the Sonics were today but you guys can see he's got good finishing at a 96 so he's gonna be a pretty good dunker his uh, post is pretty solid as well. Rebounding good. Defense good. It's a good card, man. The only thing it doesn't have is a mid-range. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good-looking car right there. So, definitely, those are the better ones in the batch. And then, again, the Mark Price, which I'll see if I can find one. I don't know why they're showing Utah Jazz logos. Some maybe think we're going to get some Utah Jazz legend or something tomorrow. Or maybe, maybe one of the masters, a Utah Jazz player, because... They're, uh, yeah, every, everything's showing up as Utah Jazz. What the heck's up with that, man? There is the other Larry Nance, and, uh, whoa, <laughs> I thought that had a bid on it for 10 million coins, but, um, 5k coins, that bid is at, and this card looks nice. Honestly, if I could pick two, I probably want the Larry Nance and the Mark Price. Again, those are the highest overalls, but, <laughs> uh, the Larry Nance actually looks pretty good. I could stick him to use on my team, I think. I like his stats, man. Good defensive and finishing card. And he's got some good speed at 84. That's a good uh, power forward or even small forward. You can run him at either of those. But um, that's a good card. And before we open it, quick look at the Mark Price 93 three-point shot. Which is, 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 that's good. I mean, my, my Curry's the same way. And he knocks down, like, everything. And a 91 for the mid-range and a 95 for the dribbling. While this may not be the craziest week of Legends, again, some of those guys already have other versions. It's still a pretty dope set. And again... Being able to pick them up for super cheap right here. We'll get two legends no matter what. Doesn't matter who we get. I'm going to be pretty excited. Hopefully we get Larry Nance or Mark Price. Our first pack is going to be World Be Free. Okay, not that bad actually. It's actually a pretty solid card. 89 speed, 83 point shot, 87 mid, 90 finish. He's got a lot of stats that are pretty nice. He's almost a 90 overall, so that's a good card. I definitely will take that, but again, it's not really who I was looking for. I don't think I'm going to probably use him on my team, so I'll probably end up selling him. We'll open up our second pack right now. Let's hope we get someone different because, again, I don't really need the world be free. So this week, the legend weren't too crazy. Honestly, I wasn't even going to open up, but I know y'all like seeing these videos, and it's really not a lot of points, so I might as well. And even if I don't like them, I'll sell them both. You guys can see in the second pack, we got ourselves a Shaquille O'Neal. Not too bad. I would have rather, again, I wish we didn't get the world be free. We got the Nance. Or even, even the Sean Kemp. Now I gotta go out and buy probably one of those guys. 
But uh, yeah, we do get a shack as well. So two, we got two legends who already have guards, which is ah, I'm not huge on that. Definitely not. But again, I see the purpose to it. Again, if you're new to the uh, the mode, you can get this guy probably for probably 30k. I'm guessing 30, 40, 50k maybe, and uh, should be pretty nice. I'm gonna check the price of those guys. Again, I looked through, but I didn't really check the prices of the shack and uh let, let me see what that shack going for the shack's going for about 30k that's not bad that's actually a decent pull i'll sell him probably make my coins back but yeah i definitely wouldn't open these packs with uh actual coins because yeah this week there's just not really any crazy big hitting legends the mark price probably goes for maybe 100 maybe 200k at most but that's it after that yeah the rest of the guys really aren't going to sell for too much so ah i don't know it was a decent couple pulls but like I don't want to use either of these cards, and they're probably going right up on the block. Since this was a short video, a short pack opening, I'm going to throw in actually the rest of that pack opening I was telling you guys about from Thanksgiving last week. So that'll have the legends from last week. You guys can see what I pulled in those packs. And I did a rookie bundle, a, bit, a whole lot of rookie packs. It's actually a super long video. So this is going to be a long video. We'll keep it going. But I figured you guys would want to see this. So instead of uploading like a two-minute, three-minute, four-minute, five-minute video, you know, hey, here's a 20-something minute video with a ton of packs. The rookie packs will probably be out at some point this year again. They've been dropping them every couple of weeks. So next time they come out, you guys will know, hey, do I want to open these? Are these looking good? But um, yeah, hope you guys do enjoy the rest of the video. And be sure to leave a like at the end. Peace, man. Um, yeah, it's Thanksgiving. I'm actually cooking a turkey, doing all that kind of stuff. But... We got some awesome content right here up on live. But there's also new legends and rookie ladder packs, which I've been wanting for a while. So I could try and pull a Jason Tatum or even a Alonzo Ball. There's a lot of good rookies, Ben Simmons. But as you guys can see today, it's Thursday. So new legends. This video is probably going to be out Friday because Thanksgiving I'm doing stuff. But packs still should be out. But you guys can see the legends and maybe we'll even get some uh, Black Friday content. Who knows? But you guys can see right here, we got Shaq, Tim Hardaway Jr. And uh, it's... I really know who the other guy is. Uh, I'm just being honest with y'all. We're gonna go ham right here. I've loaded up, man, and I, I love it, man. I've been waiting for these rookie ladder packs for a while. You can buy four bundles. The bundle's guaranteed 80 overall plus two, which is really nice. So you're gonna get not only the packs, but you get those awesome toppers with an 80 overall plus, and these are dynamic. So the overalls go up as the players play well, which is really cool, and they've got great value in the auction house. So I should be able to get some better rookie uh, ladder players, but first, We'll do the legend packs, guaranteed legends. You already know, man. It can be one of the three. Let's hope for a Shaq, baby. Can we get ourselves Shaquille O'Neal? That would be cool. Or just a Tim Hardaway. As long as we don't get double 88 for Ronnie Seekley's. Hey, we get Ronnie Seekley in the first pack. Ah, that's not looking good. <sighs> Dang, bro. We might be about to get double of him. But uh, it's still a nice player, a nice card. Good on defense, but that's not really what I'm looking for. He is a center not, not what I'm looking for. Again, come on, man. Show me Tim Hardaway Jr. But if you're just starting out, it's definitely a nice card. I mean, for, again, $5, I think it is, or $7, you get a guaranteed legend. Second pack, we'll do it right away. Please don't give me the same dude. Please show me someone new. Show the Thanksgiving spirit, bro. Come on. Give me Tim Hardaway or Shaq and... Hey, there we go. We got Tim Hardaway. Okay, thank you. I was going to say, man, I thought that was going to be Ronnie Seekly, but... We do get Tim Hardaway, who looks beastly, bro. I'll take that. Definitely will. Oh, that's a beastly card, man. Even though I already got a ton of point guards and a Kyle Kuzma team in a week, which, again, does have a little bit of value in the auction house. That is nice, man. That's a good pack right there. Some dope legends. And, uh, yeah, pretty sweet, man. I'm glad they're adding new legends into the game. And uh, that's a nice card. I love those legend packs, man, because you've got a great shot at any of those players. Again, it's just those. It's not old legends. I like how they do that. It's nice, because... If you like one of the guys, you can go for it. If you don't, you can just say, hey, I'm going to wait for another week or something. But guaranteed players, let's do rookie ladder packs, man. Y'all can see we can buy four of them. We're going to buy four of them, I think. Can, can we even afford that? I think we can. It would be 8000 for all of the rookie ladder packs, which is that's a lot of packs, but that's, that's a lot of points, man. So this is a big, massive pack. Order, but y'all been showing the love in the videos. I know y'all been liking them. I've been getting to you a little late, but man, we have 20 packs 20 we got four toppers we're gonna do two right now and two at the end how about that okay that's what we're gonna do one of the toppers again these are 80 overall rookie players can we get a ben simmons i want jason tatum show me baby jason tatum where is he oh dennis Smith jr i'll take that that's a good one too that's a good one 82 overall 
96 so you can see they're already starting to update them and uh, raise the overalls which is pretty cool I think they've been doing it like every cup every couple weeks here which is nice I like that so hey Dennis Smith Jr. with 96 speed that's a nice pull I'll take it all right we'll open up one more topper right now let's see Jason Tatum baby or get Alonzo Ball I'll take Alonzo Ball baby because you can use these cards and they're gonna be fun and the overalls will go up I think he is will go up Darren Fox okay we're getting some good ones I don't know is there any, like, bad 80 overall ones? Probably not. I know. I think Markkanen's an 80 overall as well. But, hey, that's a good rookie, man. That's pretty dope. And, again, these cards are dynamic. So, their overalls will increase as the year goes on. So, by the end of the year, these could be 90s. Because there's, like, a lot of good rookies this year, man. All right. We'll do the rest of the toppers at the end and pray for that Jason Tatum. We got 16 packs. Yo, my inventory might fill up. I don't even know if we can do 16 packs. But we gonna try. Come on, baby. I got Thanksgiving. I got a turkey in the oven. I gotta get going. Quickly open the packs right here. We get a Josh Jackson and a Joey Dorsey, I think it is. Tower Dorsey. The Josh Jackson looks cool, but I kind of wish he was our uh, dynamic card. Instead, we get a Joey Dorsey. I don't even think I'm going to have auction space for all these packs. Oh, my goodness. We might have to cut this one short. I hope that we don't, but let's keep it going. This is a long. It takes too long to open these packs. Eh, I guess that's a good thing, though. But yeah, I feel like sometimes I'm like, all right, just give me the back. But we got to wait for the animation. Take our time. And hope for Jason Tatum or even some of the other Celtics players. There are a couple good rookies right here. We're going to get Markel Fultz and, hey, the dude for the Knicks. Uh, I actually, Nalitnia, I think is how you say it, maybe. I, I, I remembered how to say it, and I cannot remember right now. We also do get Fultz, which I have that card already, but uh, I can't remember how to say his name, but that's a cool card right there. Definitely looks good at times. I think they got a good player with him, but I, I still find it kind of wild that LeBron was like, yeah, they should have picked the other dude, like, like, that's kind of that's kind of rude, isn't it? Nah. All right, let's open up. Definitely kind of rude. He's been doing some wild things, but uh, he missed a wide open dunk last night. Or actually, it would be two nights ago. But uh, he still had a really pretty good game. Let's keep it going, though. We're getting off track. Come on. Boom, right there. Ooh, Josh Jackson. And we get, oh, never mind. We get Justin Jackson. I thought that was both Josh Jackson because they were 78 or rubber. But nah, we got a little troll there. That's kind of trolling. And we get Jonathan Isaac. I thought the Celtics were going to draft him. And uh, I thought he was going to be crazy. He still looks pretty good. He looked good when uh, the Celtics played the Magic. The Celtics have lost. Their win streak ended, which is sad. But at the end of the day, they're still in first place with, like, what, 16, 17 wins, 16 wins, I think. That's crazy. That's, that's a ton of wins. So not too worried. He played well. Celtics, they keep digging them into these uh, big, big deficits right there. We're getting a lot of these the 78 overall Josh Jacksons. Josh Hart's actually been super solid for the Lakers as well. But they can't dig into these holes and then try and win the game in the end, like by 15, go on a 15 another run. It, it, that's not good game plan. So hopefully they'll tune it up before All-Star break and then maybe go on a nice little streak before the end of the season going into the playoffs because that's when you want to be streaking. So it's always good, but uh, yeah, I'm not too disappointed, surprisingly. I mean, how could you be disappointed with a team in first place in the NBA? And then we also, my goodness, every package is Josh Jackson, dude. We already have that one Evans as well. These packs are kind of, I'm not going to lie, kind of hit or miss because uh, unless you get some of the big ones, you're really pretty much going for the topper with these, I'd say. But they're only 2,000 points. You do get four of them. But so far, these packs have been too crazy. I, if I were you, I would save your uh, cash and spend it on those legend packs and wait till next week's legend. But the legend packs are the best ones easily. I mean, we get a 90 overall for 700 points. Right here, we do get De'Aaron Fox. And, ooh, we get Jordan Bell. From the Warriors, that's a card that could be increasing. He's looked pretty good this year, actually. De'Aaron Fox as well. We already got his dynamic card, which is nice. I call them dynamic cards because that's what they really are. They're rookie ladder cards, but they're dynamic because they update throughout the season. And I don't think there are any other cards on LUT that do that. Or even on my team, too. No cards to do that. So it's kind of nice. It's a cool idea. I like the concept. Let's keep it going. I wonder what those feast packs contain, man. I'll have to open some of those, but it might be a while, man, because I'm going to be grinding. I got things to do. I got family time to spend. We get Jason Tatum, but that's not the right Tatum. You can see the increase in speed from uh, this one to the, uh, the, uh, the rookie ladder card that we have. 92 to 96. Big difference right there, so that's pretty dope. Oh, my goodness. He, he, he's ghosted. <laughs> but there are a big boost from those cards, so that's kind of nice. We can do a whole rookie ladder probably lineup after this. We'll have a whole team of them. 
We have a ton of them. I want to try that Tim Hardaway too. So I'll probably get you guys some gameplay. Maybe we'll take a rookie ladder team online. That'd be kind of cool. I think that'd be a nice little challenge. See if we can win with all rookies. But we need my boy, Jason Tatum, man, bro. That's the only one I really want. It would be dope if we could actually pull him. But it doesn't seem like these packs have the 80, 80 overall plus. Those are pretty rare. So you really have to pull them in the toppers. We get Frank Mason right there. Look pretty good coming out of college. The Kings got a lot of good rookies, man. The Kings are a pretty nice team. But uh, we got to see what we can get in these last few packs. We only have a few left. We've been ripping through these like crazy. Eight packs left. Eight chances. And actually another two. Two chances really at that jam, I think it is. Because we have yet to see an 80 plus in the packs normally. The toppers have been good, but I need to see. Ah, not read. Not read. We're getting, ah, we're getting a lot of the gold ones. I just wish... They were switched, and those ones were the dynamics. Then I guess they were OP, though. But Devon Reed, and oh, no, we're at our item limit, bro. We're pretty much banking on the toppers with four packs left. It feels like we haven't, I think the best we've gotten is 78 in the packs. So if you're opening these packs, I wouldn't expect to get too many crazy rookie ladder pulls of like 80 plus. We get Bam Adab, Ab Ab Abdayo, Abdayo, I think is how you pronounce the name. 78 overall, so again, another 78. We have gotten a couple of those, but nothing 80 plus in the packs. So I'm thinking if you're buying these, you're, you're really risking it if you're spending 25K on that pack. But those guys do have value, and they will later on in the year, some of those rookie cards. So if you see a rookie out there, hey, scoop him, sit on him, and uh, he might have some good value at the end of the year if he's like a 90 plus. That would be pretty cool. Couple more packs left here. See if we can get Frank Mason again. Ah, last two rookie packs, man. I'm praying for Tatum, man. Show me that love, that Thanksgiving love, the dessert of this pack opening. Ah, we get Aaron Brooks, I think that is? Or Dylan Brooks, Dylan Brooks for the uh, Grizzlies. I was gonna say Aaron Brooks. Why have I heard of that name before? But he's been playing really well, even though I just completely messed up his name and butchered it. He's been playing well, man. That card is actually not bad. That's a little sleeper rookie. That might go up. I mean, it should go up. I think it might have already gone up because he's been playing well. We can open up one more of these. I got to sell a couple things in it. Probably the contracts. Just get rid of them. I got so many. And then we open up our toppers. Can we get Tatum in our final rookie pack? I don't think so. I'm not even going to say. Yeah, see, we get Thornwell again. We've gotten a couple of those guys, but... So, nothing too crazy for those packs, but the toppers have been good. Let's hope the final two toppers are... All right, two toppers, baby. Please, show me my boy. That's the reason I was opening these. If not, man, I could probably buy them in the auction house. He should be up there, hopefully, and maybe he'll be cheap. But let's see what we got in this one. Another De'Aaron Fox. No, we're down to the last topper. Ha! Ah, we only have two spots in our auction, uh, our, our items, whatever. And our inventory is literally one spot from being full. Can we clutch it? I want my Celtics rookie. I probably won't get him, but last pack, man. <sighs> Please show me Jason Tatum, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. Ah, oh, we get Kyle Kuzma. That's a good one to pull. And he's been beastly, and he's gotten upgraded, I think, as well, or is going to probably. But we don't get who I would have liked. I would have rather... Oh, I wish we didn't get the Darren Fox dupe. I could probably sell him in the auction house, and I'm gonna have to buy Jason Tatum. Ah, I wonder if there's any up right now, man. We'll check to see really quickly, but this has already been a long video. Y'all already know, my turkey probably burning. We gotta get out. We gotta go check that bad boy out, but we'll uh, change the player rating, and we'll go with the 80 to uh, 78 to 83, because that's where you'd find most of the rookies. So let's look and see if we can find any of the, uh, yeah, any of the ones that are new. Let's go. L let me just cop that right there. That's way better. 40K is a little out. This is a little ridiculous, but I really want this card. I'll buy him. You got lucky. You suckered me into buying Tatum, but we got him finally. It only took the whole video. I think that three-point rating is going to go up. I think that speed is going to go up. I think he already got boosted, but if he didn't, he going to get boosted more. But we do get him, and we got a nice all-rookie team that we can build, and I could definitely sell my uh, second De'Aaron Fox and probably make most of my profit back that I just spent on him. But I've been saving my coins. I really haven't been buying too much. So, yeah, I like that purchase. I've been wanting to use him, and uh, I think he'll get some good burn with me in Ultimate Team. Some good stats. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I, I think that's going to be it. I want to check the Lakers to see if we can find Alonzo Ball. But I don't think so. It doesn't look like too many people are ripping these or at least posting them right now because I don't see a ton. We'll see if we can find, we can see a Kuzma right there for about 40k. Yeah, I'd expect that's what he, he'll sell for, around 30 to 40 probably. And that's probably what these guys will go for, but um, yeah, 
I gotta get back to my Thanksgiving. Hope you guys did enjoy, man. Peace.